Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about interior staging. So we've already covered uh, the buying process, the selling process, um, curb appeal, uh, now interior staging. Most important thing you can do is get rid of clutter. We all have too much stuff. Nobody wants to see your personal effects, your collections, your personal taste. Um, decorating your house is putting all those things in it staging it is getting them out we want neutral we want pared down we want it to feel sparse we want it to feel not yours um, clutter and then a good cleaning and not just you know um, just a, a you know moving dirt around a real professional cleaning get them in there you want it to smell good like that hit you in the face when you walk in know that they've um, kept up with their house um, when you um, want the showing experience to go as best as possible you want it to be a comfortable temperature you want the lights to be on so that nobody has to scramble to find them um, fresh flowers always shows that somebody cares touch up paint neutral paint um, there's different ways that you can use paint to make um, you know, rooms flow together. Um, a good designer, a good stager, a good real estate agent um, should all be able to guide you in terms of if we need to do paint um, to make a property more sellable. Um, cleaning out closets and cupboards. You want to show that you have lots of storage. Um, we all have the junk drawer, the closet that's brimming with with coats you know pare it down you want it to really showcase the space um, leaky taps toilets um, faucets in disrepair get rid of them put make it make it clean and, and fresh um, and uh, really buttoned up um, light bulbs no burnout bulbs I usually go higher wattage than even you maybe want just in a regular um, living experience because you want it to be bright you want it to be light you want it to be in, inviting um, any squeaky doors doorknobs latches doors that won't latch properly or that you have to struggle to open fix it nobody wants to deal with that um, caulk around tubs um, floors cleaned you know everything sealed um, I tell people I've never had an instance with things walking away but um, valuable jewelry artwork handguns purses medications put them away take them to a friend or neighbor um, just you know don't leave temptation out there um, always have pets and all pet supplies gone if they can go to a boarding house a family member a neighbor um, we don't want any pet smells if you can smell it you can't sell it um, some people are highly allergic that will be a deal killer for them just um, from step one um, I love white bedding on beds I know some people have different tastes um, you know but but white clean fresh bedding always looks good um, one of my favorite rules to tell people is any horizontal space can have no more than three items on it I don't care if it's your kitchen counter your bathroom counter uh, dresser in your room pare it down create a nice little vignette rule of three put them together so they look good um, for awkward spaces make a little um, furniture grouping or something that really showcases how that space can be used um, add value not take away from it uh, magnets should be down personal pictures should be down any non-essential furniture should be removed um, small offices reading nooks um, all can create a really warm wonderful experience um, new appliances can be a good investment for some people if they're able to um, eco-friendly materials can also be um, you know green initiatives can always be um, a real selling point for people as well um, window treatments like the big doily or the big pattern window treatments um, are out people um, you know really tend to have something more sleek a nice shade um, a lot of times we'll just pull down the window treatments and go back with nothing it's better than um, something that looks dated or too stylistic um, vanities are an easy replacement to make um, I will put a list of all of these in the comments um, a PDF that you can download or a link that you can follow 
um, so you can have this all together. But um, it's really about looking at the your property from a buyer's perspective um, and trying to really see what will catch their eye, that will speak to them, that will create that emotional connection that will really lead to um, a positive showing and hopefully a strong offer.